Hello, what's up, what's happening? Welcome to week number two of the 2013 season. And Adrian Smith, he is back in the starting lineup as our quarterback. I know that this school has a history of changing quarterbacks halfway through the season, but this time we can do it early. I feel like even though grounding and pounding is the way to go, and that's going to get us to another national championship game, we have to be more consistent through there, and I feel like Smith gives us that. Unfortunately, though, he, uh... Yeah, he throws the play. Okay, okay, quiet down, quiet down, calm down. I know, I know, that, that was a bad pass, and he puts us in a bad situation. But I trust our defense. Right there, they're going to find Grover, cuts up, field, and he's going to pick up a nice game. But they did not pick up first half. So the defense is running home, and we're going to get a sack. No, we don't quite get there, but we do bat that thing down, and now we take over. Now Smith looking to find his man, Fina, and he's going to pick up. First down move those chains for the SAU Bulls from the 50 yard line now looking to pass again and my man Smith connects the dots to Russell and that's going to be another first down. Now it's third and three. Smith looking. Going to find Dotson who makes a catch and this drive is being led by the passer game. Third down again going to go to Oliver and Chris Oliver comes up with a big time catch. First and go. We give it to Seth. Bryant bounces it to the outside. Cuts the field. Gets into the end zone. Touchdown S. Hey, you. Now, again, the running game, that's going to carry us. But, again, we have to be more consistent in the passing game. That's why we changed quarterbacks. Right there, we get a big-time sack on their quarterback, Harrison. So, now it's going to be third and long. And get that thing up out of here. So, we stop him on third. Then we get the ball right back. We're trying to go up two possessions. But, Fina forgot his hands on the bus. And that pass is going to fall incomplete. So, it's second and ten. Harrison getting sacked by A.J. Hunt, his second sack of the ball game. But then Bird, he gets it to the outside, breaks a tackle, cuts up field, finally gets brought down about the 40, 41 yard. And now it's third and seven from the 44. They're going to do the wide receiver screen, but he forgot his hands in the hotel room. So that's not going to work. Third and 17 for us. Going to take a shot deep downfield to Russell, who brings it in. Big time catch. Let's go, baby. This Russell kid is for real, man. He made plays for us last year, and he's definitely making plays for us this year. Seth Bryant picks up the first down, cuts back, runs a man over, gets inside the red zone of the Texas A&M Aggie. Smith looking. Russell over the mill, makes the catch. Move those chains for the SAU Bulls. Seth Bryant up that guy. Touchdown, SAU. Let's go. Birdie's going to cut up field, and Birdie's going to make a man miss, but takes a nasty hit, but that's going to pick up a first down. Harrison with time has a man, and that's going to be hauled in by Austin inside the 15, down at the 12-yard line. Now Harrison with time. Harrison over the middle, going to find Smith, picks up the first down. We set a first and goal from the one. We get in there, but we can't get to the quarterback. Levine makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown, Texas A&M. So we have to start this drive from our own seven yard line. We give the ball to Andy Walter. Straight up the middle of the line of scrimmage. Picks up a big first down. Move those chains for the Bulls. Play action pass now for Adrian Smith. Takes a shot deep to Russell. Brings it in. Touchdown, Bulls. Beautiful pass right there by Adrian Smith. Had his man streaking down the left sideline through an absolute strike. And that's going to make it a 21-7 ball game. But here comes Texas and m Going to find Gibson. Gets away from not one, not two, but three SAU Bulls. But we're not going to get away from Walker. But he does get this thing all the way down to the 10-yard line. Second to go from the four. They get the ball to Powell. And he gets into the end zone. And that's going to do it for the first half of play. 21-14 to is the score. Let's see what our defense can do. Back on the field. There goes the Aggies. Going to find Grover. Grover gets away from two. Cuts up field. Gets past the 50. And gets pushed out of bounds by Palmer. So here. Harrison has it. He's looking, has time, takes a shot deep, but get that thing up out of here. And they got to get the ball right back to us. Now, AJ Smith has it. Looking for Fina over the middle. Beautiful pass right there. Going to make a very manageable third in inches, or second inches, excuse me. We get the ball to Walter, and Walter cuts self field, and Walter picks up a big first down. Move those chains. Second and one. Walter, up that got makes a man miss heads to the end zone. Touchdown, Bulls 28. 214 is now the score. So we get in there, but we hit the halfback. We don't hit the quarterback, and we finally get some pressure. But he lets this one fly, and that's going to be caught by Thomas. Beautiful catch by that big receiver going up above the sky to bring that one in. Now he's going to go over the middle of Thomas again, who makes another catch. Now they give it to Bird and A.J. Hunt is there for the take that over 100 tackles in his career so far. But he gives the ball to Bird again, cuts up field, but gets brought down by Williams. 
and they would have to settle for a field goal. So it's 28 to 17. We're going up to Ho. We're going up to Fina this time, and he's going to make the catch. He's in that 88 club, represent for all the 88s around the world. And now we're going to go to Fina again, catches this one, but short of the first down marker. So we're going to settle for the field goal. Kick is up, and the kick is good. So we're going to take a 31 to 17 lead. Up by 14. Definitely want to slam the door shut on the Aggies, but they have other plans as Berg catches this one in the flat. Cuts upfield. Picks up the first down. Now to do a toss play to Berg. Nothing but green grass in front of him, but we are able to bring him down before he does major damage. Berg with another carry. He gets away from AJ Hunt and finally gets brought down, but not until he picks up a fresh set of downs from the 30-yard line. That was third and three to get him to the big fullback. Nobody is there to bring him down until he gets inside the 10. From the for y'all on now we get a big time sack that's what the doctor ordered now they can drop back and pass one more time we got pressure on him throws a back cross by gibson who hangs on to it but he's going to be well short of the end zone they they went for it on fourth down did not get it obviously and we give the ball to seth bryant look at the moves in the lane and he's going to pick up the first down move those chains now smith going downfield on third down had a man open but can't connect the dots but Smith is 14 of 18, one of the best passing days that we have seen probably in the history of SAU. A.J. Hunt gets in there for sack number three on the day. It's fourth down. They're going to find Powell out of the backfield, and he's actually going to pick up the first down. They only got 54 seconds to go, but they decide to run the football, and Bird is making that decision wise, but then he does not go out of bounds. I do not understand that. They're down to six seconds, and again, they run the football, headed to the end zone, picks up the first down, but he will not get any further, and that's going to bring this one to an end. Kind of a wacky finish right there as Texas a and them did not elect to pass the football, but you know what? They probably would have lost anyway. Anyways, man, look at Adrian Smith's numbers. 14 of 18. That's the big thing. Did have that early in the session, but after that, he was basically perfect on the day. Andy Walker, a buck 15 on the day. My man Smith chipped in with 50 yards plus two TDs. So that's big for him. And then, of course, when we check out the receivers, Russell had a big day. 149 yards. Phoenix had a big day as well with 79. And then Dustin, he... He, uh, Dotson, excuse me, he had a nice game, too, working underneath all the deep coverage and stuff like that. So he is no Chad Johnson, but he is definitely a good tight end. But that's going to wrap this one up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I enjoy bringing it to you. Hope the rest of the day is the best of your day. I'm going to see y'all later. Peace. Hi, sauce.